Firstly, we're going to look at the uh, first exercise, which is a Baroque chord sequence in D major, lento slow, in 4-4 four, four time, common time. So we're going to start on the fourth beat after four. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Each of these exercises are intended to last a minute, so you can play it a few few times. If you want, you can time yourself with your cell phone and also have your possibly your metronome at the ready. It's important to practice with your metronome. Now we're going to look at the scale exercise. All these um, exercises that we're going to look at now are the a window in onto each chapter of the, the workbook. Uh, this is a scale C major, so I'm going to start with just the thumb. And then with each other repetition, you can you just uh, vary the combination of the right hand fingers. So, for instance, index and middle. You can actually transpose this up to C sharp if you want. Arpeggio. Try to make a minimal movement with the right hand so that what you're aiming for is virtually no movement if you're, say, practicing in front of the mirror, say, focusing in on your technique. And obviously each one of these are last a minute. Snaps and hammers and snaps or hammer on and pull offs. Try to keep the little finger in. So if you're doing this, uh, try to uh, repeat that right ha left hand pattern up and down on each uh, string, adjacent string. Let's play it. Tremolo. Tremolo was uh, invented to increase the sustain of the guitar, as it's, the guitar didn't have amazing sustain as a, um, compared to the violin. So once again, trying to make the right hand fingers uh, a very small movement when the when the finger strikes, try to um, return it to its original starting position. One, two, three. Bar calls. The C here means um, Capo. And when there's no half, that means you, the first 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 finger goes right across the strings, firing for making a capo. These are major chords that are being shifted up and down the fretboard. Let's have a go after four. One, two, three, four.
stretching, opening up the left hand. You can actually do, there are exercises where you can try as the fingers apart like that before you begin even doing this of the hands or, or circulating the fingers like that. Even shaking, shaking the hands to get the circulation going. Let's have a go at this. One, two, three, four. Try to look ahead when where you're placing, where you're going to, where you want to arrive to. Um, let's have a go. One, two. Equal strength. This is very important um, chapter. The objective is to get each uh, to the listener each combination of the right left hand fingers equally as strong as any other. So, for instance, uh, one two should be the same strength as three and four. And have the same capacity. Let's have a go at one four. So each time I go up and down the, the, the strings, I shift up a fret. Also, you can use different combinations of right hand fingers as we did in the uh, scales. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Arpeggio um, sequence to finish. Hope you enjoyed this video and please subscribe and hit the bell for the latest video releases. See you next time. Bye bye.